Hi, fourth graders. Sorry the lesson didn't post earlier. Today, your objective is to solve two-step word problems using the standard subtraction algorithm fluently modeled with tape diagrams and assess the reasonableness of answers using rounding. Whew, what a lot going on there. This is basically saying that you're solving two-step word problems, so you know there's going to be more than one step. We're using subtraction, just like we did yesterday, so you should have a subtraction equation. You should model with a tape diagram, and we're using rounding to make sure our answers make sense. Let's get started. The first question I'm going to model for you is this one. A company has three locations with 70,000 10 employees all together. Let's picture, I can picture companies like McDonald's with more than one location, Target, uh, Market Basket, all have more than one location. So this particular company has three locations. Can you picture it too? Great. They have 70,000 10 employees all together so many. The first location has 34,857 employees. The second location has 17,595 employees. And our question is, how many employees work in the third location? So I can see this all together tells me a total. And I know the total model in my tape diagram will go right here. I also can see the first location, second location, and third location. So I knew that I needed three parts to my tape diagram. So this will be my first location. I'll do L1, L2, and L3. I can see that there are 34,857 employees in my first location. 17,595 employees in my second location. And I don't know how many are in my third location, and so I'm just going to do a cursive L there. All right, hmm. So I know I'm trying to find about how many employees work in this third location. And I know I'm going to have to use rounding to assess for reasonableness. So I'm gonna start first. I know that 70,010 rounds to 70,000. I know 34,857 will round to 30,000 to the nearest 10,000, and 17,595 will round to 20,000. If you need to do number lines to round, that's perfectly fine. Do it. And then this becomes mental math. I know that these two together are 50,000 these first two locations. And so if I subtract 70,000 and 50,000, I know there will be about 20,000 employees work at the third location. So I know if my answer is reasonable, it's going to be about 20,000. So let's check here. Hmm. I can either add these two sections together and then subtract them, or I can take 70,000, subtract 34,857, and then that difference and subtract 17,595. I think the easiest way would be to add these two parts together. It's just easiest for my brain. Five plus seven fifths plus 12. I can see that these two parts together, location one and location two, have 52,452 employees. So this is like my step one. Remember, we have more than one step. Now, I need to take my total 70,010 and subtract 52,452. Zero can't take away two, so I regroup. 10 can't take away two. I mean, 10 can't take away two, it's eight. <laughs> zero can't take away five. Ooh, I can't borrow from zero. I can't regroup from this. I need to change my seven to a six, and this becomes a 10. I start again. Zero can't take away five, so I move over. I can't borrow from zero, but now I can decompose this 10 to a nine, this zero to a 10. Start again. Zero can't take away five. 10 turns to nine. Zero turns to 10. Now 10 can take away five. 9, take, nine minus 4 is 5, 9 minus 2 is 7, 6 minus 5 is 1. So I can see that my third location 
has 17,558 employees. And I would say that's pretty reasonable. It's pretty close to 20,000. And so my statement will say the third location has 17,558 employees. All right, so your job today is to now complete lesson 16 problem set. You must complete this first page, number one, and you can go on to complete page two if that's reasonable for you. The other thing you need to do is to log on to Zern for about 20 minutes. And then we will connect on Thursday. Have a great day.